to recall from the previous lecture for this example. In lecture 4, we have completed step 5, step 6 and step 7. In this lecture we will proceed with deflection check. Clause 7 of EC3 highlights the need to check the SLS of deflection, but provides few details on the subject, other than to refer the designer to Annex A1.4 of our 1990. Clause 7.2.1 of EC3 makes clear, however, that the designer is responsible for specifying appropriate limits for vertical deflections, which should be agreed with the client. Table in NA.2.23 provides the vertical deflections limit for various beams. For this example, the only serviceability limit state that is to be considered is the vertical deflection under variable actions, because excessive deflection would damage brittle finishes which are added after permanent action has occurred. The limitation for this beam is taken as span over 360. The National Annex to EC3 recommends that checks on the vertical deflections under unfactored imposed loading should be carried out. First, we need to determine the maximum bending moment under unfactored load. We must ensure that the maximum elastic bending moment must be lesser than the elastic resistance bending moment. Next, Calculate the theoretical vertical displacement by applying appropriate formula for the vertical displacement. Finally, depends on cases, check whether the calculated vertical displacement is lesser than the allowable given in the annex. Now, referring to our previous example given, we can then start to check the maximum permissible deflection for our beam. First, we need to ensure the maximum unfactored design bending moment is lesser than the elastic bending resistance MCRD elastic, which, in our case is satisfied. Finally, by insert the required value into the equation, we then can confirm that, our designed beam, has satisfied the permissible deflection required, as shown here. Therefore, we have completed all the design check for the given example. Hence, we can conclude that, the 3561751 new B section in S275 steel is suitable to carry the uniformly distributed loading GK equals 8 kN per meter and QK equals 6 kN per meter. To enhance your understanding, it is recommended to all students to go through other types of load cases given in example 9.2, page 387, in the design of structural elements concrete, steelwork, masonry and timber designs to British Standard and Euro Codes, 3rd edition. Or, you may find the extracted version of example 9.2 in ECS 571 Google Classroom. Let's do some exercise, good luck.